Samsung's plans for Android 5.0 are now public. Google's Nexus 5 rumors focus on the camera. And T-Mobile makes their launch of LTE now official. I'm Jaime Rivera, enjoying the marvels of a power outage in our third world country. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start this week off talking about the Nexus 5. We've got two sets of rumors for this device. On one hand, we have a 5.2 inch display with a 1080p resolution. Obviously, we have the Snapdragon 800 powering this device, three gigabytes of storage, along with all the bells and whistles, even front firing speakers. But then on the other side, we have a smaller device, five inches in the display, still 1080p. But the Snapdragon 600, like we have on the HTC One, two gigabytes of RAM and still the front firing speakers. Now, either of these rumors are probably both are being made by LG. No matter what the case is, probably we have two prototypes, or we'll probably get two Nexus devices this time. But most interesting is the fact that they're working on a revolutionary camera technology for this device. And the question of that will be hardware or software. We'll keep you posted. And speaking of Google, let's continue talking of more Motorola X phone rumors. Remember, we had a lineup of devices being rumored last week, not just one device. And apparently, we already have three code names, the Motorola Ghost, and also the Yeti and the Sasquatch. And apparently, these three devices are slated to launch on AT&T, not Verizon, as it's usually the case with the new Motorola devices that always get launched. But the interesting point here is that, sadly, these devices are being slated to launch with Jelly Bean not Android 5.0. So for those of you that were waiting for something big happening at Google I.O., I don't think it's gonna be Motorola. Now let's talk about Microsoft. The company has pretty much slated their plans for Windows Phone 8 and Windows Phone 7.8 in the future, and of course, Windows Phone 9. As is expected, Microsoft has confirmed that they will continue with their plans to support both operating systems for 18 months. And since we remember that Windows Phone 8 was out first and Windows Phone 7.8, then both these operating systems will pretty much die by fall of 2014. Obviously, we will have Windows Phone 9 before that. What can be expected? Well, pretty much Windows Phone 7.8 devices will be end of life as of then. And then Windows Phone 8 devices, since they don't have any of the hardware restrictions that we had in the past devices, will be slated for Windows Phone 9. Now, we all know how that story plays out, so let's just wait and see what happens. It's really cool what Microsoft is doing. Obviously, the timelines couldn't come any sooner. And let's move over to T-Mobile. For those of you waiting for the real 4G uh, LTE network to be launched in the United States, well, with equipment already being installed in Kansas City and Las Vegas, it is expected for either of these two cities to get the network before the end of this month, or probably both of them, which is really cool. But for those of you wondering which devices are gonna support 4G LTE out of the box, well, we do know that the Galaxy S4 will be one of the devices late April, but for those of you that want 4G LTE now, the device that has the radio dormant is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So that device just received an update today. Make sure you upgrade your phone to enable the LTE radio to work for whenever this happens. Sadly, for those of you expecting that to happen on the Galaxy S3, well, there is a new Galaxy S3 out there that will support the 4G LTE on T-Mobile, but not the previous generation Galaxy S3. So sorry for you. And obviously there will be more devices coming up in the future, though we still don't have a specific timeline. Stay tuned. Obviously, this is a work in progress. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung has just confirmed their plans for Android 5.0, even though Google has pretty much not laid the plans for their own operating system themselves. But they have confirmed that obviously this year's devices will be getting the upgrade, the Galaxy S4, the Galaxy Note 8. And they've also confirmed on last year's devices, being the Galaxy Note 10.1, the Galaxy Note 2, and the Galaxy S3. Now, the sad news is there is a last year's device, being the Galaxy S3 Mini, that will not receive this upgrade, nor will the Note 1 or the Galaxy S2 be receiving this update as well, even though their hardware is kind of capable for it anyways. But that leads me to the question of the day. Are you upset with the fact that the previous generation devices, Galaxy S2, Galaxy Note 1, were not be getting this upgrade? Sadly, this is the story with Android regardless of the OEM. And it's kind of horrible because you know that the iPhone 3GS, which is pretty much almost five years old, still supports iOS 6, or at least part of it, but at least there is something out there. We do know that some older or current generation Android devices made by Samsung will be getting a feature pack that makes it feel like Android 5.0, but sadly, we don't have any good news for you. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think? I honestly don't like it. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on vogonow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. 
I'm Jaime Rivera. Again, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.